Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and today we're going to be kicking off the uh, on a breadboard tutorials with the Arduino on the breadboard. Now, the Arduino is a very popular microcontroller. It's very small, very tiny, very easy to use. And you can see that as by putting it on the breadboard, uh, you can see all the components, and hopefully if you get good enough, you can actually make it a little better. You can even add a couple things. So with that, let's get started. Here are the basic components that you're going to need. Uh, let's start with this. This is the this is the brain of the Arduino. This is an 18 mega 328p processor with the Arduino bootloader on it. The bootloader is basically just the Arduino operating system. You got here a 16 megahertz crystal. Uh, the Arduino is regulated at 16 megahertz, but you can get a 20 megahertz crystal for this. Works as well. I've got here two LEDs, one red. Uh, this is going to represent power, and green, which is going to represent signal. Uh, you've got two 250, uh, 150-ohm resistors for the uh, LEDs. I've got a whole bunch of jumper cables to connect everything. This is a USB to serial converter. The Arduino takes a serial connection to load programs. This will basically just create a virtual serial port on your computer, which the software will use to communicate with the Arduino. And finally, the biggest part, the breadboard. It's actually a really nice breadboard. It's got uh, full connections. Uh, it's really big, and it's got power rails, which makes it really nice. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to take your Arduino. We're just going to remove the fabric off of it. This is anti-static fabric because this is very sensitive. Before you want to start playing with this, uh, ground yourself. Any static shock on this will fry it. I'm just going to sit this right here. I'm actually just going to pick a position. And I'm just going to press it down. There we go. Pressed it down nice and easily. Uh, the red mark here, and there's a little indent, represents the top of the chip. So this pin right here is 1, and this pin here is 28. So 1 through, I think it's 14. Sorry, I've got a... Yeah, yeah pins 1 through 14, and then pins 15 through 28. Uh, on my computer, I've got the pin mapping for this chip and the pin mapping for the serial converter we're going to be using, so I'm going to reference those. Uh, those will be in the description, along where you where you can all buy all these parts. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the crystal, and we're going to plug it in. On the pin mapping, it's called XTAL1 and XTAL2. That's pins 9 and 10, so I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's going to connect from 9, to 10. Okay, once you've got that, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start wiring power. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking this, which I'm going to use the red jumper for power, black jumper for ground, and yellow for signal, but we'll save that for later. Okay, so pin 7 on the Arduino. So we're going to count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. Seven is power. I'm just actually just going to connect that Come to the outer rail. Just like that. We're going to connect ground, which is pin 8 on the Arduino, to the power rail. It's okay if your um, breadboard doesn't have power rails. It just makes it a lot easier to wire power because everything can just be connected off of these. So, there we go. So that's connected to ground. There we go. It takes a little bit of force to plug them in. So now, if I pull this clock back a bit, you can see power is going to power, ground is going to ground. Alright, next, we're going to wire the LEDs. Uh, I think I squashed the Yep, right there. Look at these. Move those out of the way. Yeah. So we're gonna start by putting in the LEDs. Now, 
Green LED we're using for signal, which is going to tell us if this is working properly. The LED has two legs. It's got a short leg, uh, there we go, short leg and a long leg. The long leg is connected to the power. So in this case, this is pin 15, and we want to go to pin 19, which is digital out 13. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I just counted the uh, digital outputs for the Arduino. So there we go. It's connected there. And now I'm going to connect the other one, which is power. Again, it's red and it's got a long leg and a short leg. So let's just go. I'm going to connect it down here below the Arduino. Now the thing about LEDs, which I'll, we'll talk about later, is that they need a resistor so that they don't kill themselves. Or LEDs actually are suicidal. They will try and kill themselves if you don't put in a resistor. So the resistor is connected to ground. There we go. So it connects to ground just like that. And I'm actually just going to take a power and connect it to the power bus. So we're going to take the long leg and connect it to the red, and the short leg and connect it to the black. And it's being a pain. There we go. So that's connected up nice and easy. This one, we're going to connect it to the ground rail. So this gets connected. There we go. That gets pushed in. And the other end gets connected as well. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to fold that down. Now, in order for us to get that to work, this isn't cr currently connected to ground. So what we have to do is we have to take a ground jumper. And down here, I'm going to connect it from the ground rail we have already established and move it over here to where we need it. Okay, so now that it's all t that's all taken care of, we're going to go ahead and move on with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point the USB out, and I'm just going to plug it in down here. The chip, the board sits a little weird, but it will fit in, in on a breadboard nice and easy. Uh, so now we're going to connect up the power from the USB to the power board. I've got the uh, pin map set up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the power, or VCC, that's 5 volts coming off your USB, is 4 on the right on the right hand side. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Come on. Just pin 4 on that side. Gets connected to the power railing over here. So I'm connecting the power. Oh, lost it. There we go. So I'm connecting power from your USB to the power railing. Now I'm going to take ground and connect that to the ground railing. Ground is actually just the first pin on that side. So here we go. I'm just going to take this, plug it into the first just going to take it and plug it into the first pin here on the side and plug it into the ground railing over there. Okay, the last thing you have to do, and this is the tricky part, in order to download programs to it, you have to connect this to this, not just the power. There are th the first three pins on the Arduino. First one is reset which is how it's uploaded. You have to set the reset to start uploading programs. The second one is the RX line, or the receiving line, and the transmitting line, or the TX line. Now, the reset is the first pin. Move down here. gets connected to the RTS pin on the board. That's the third pin down. That's the, sort of the automatic reset. Then we're going to take we're going to wire the RX line on the Arduino to the TX line on the chip. We, you do that because the receiver always has to be connected to the transmitter, and the transmitter always has to be connected to the receiver. That's how I remember it. And finally, the third one has to be connected, the third pin 
on the Arduino, like that. It's connected to the fifth pin. The third pin on the Arduino is the TX, and that connect gets connected to the fifth pin down here, which is the RX. So anything transmitted goes to the RX, anything received by this is sent to that, and the reset is all done. So that's all that's necessary to wire it. I know that looks messy, but it really isn't that bad. That last thing to do is take your USB cable, which I've already plugged into my PC, and we're going to plug it in to the board. Now, the power LED comes on, then your signal one just starts blinking. That's just running through it. It's running through all of its memory. Now, it should happen next. There we go. I plugged in all the way. See that beeping? That means it's actually identifying the fact that it has a bootloader installed on it. And that's it. Uh, so this was our first on the breadboard. Uh, I know it looks bad, but uh, I want to do this because I thought this was cool. And it's actually really interesting. So if you want to go ahead and... I've got all the parts laid out uh, where you can buy them. Uh, they're pin mappings. I've got those all set up. Um, so this is our first... I know this is complicated. We're going to go over some simpler ones in following videos. Uh, so this has been uh, Human Hard Drive. Uh, be sure to check out following videos. And thanks for watching.